Hey guys, how's it going? Out at the uh, second base camp today. Uh, you may not be able to hear it, but it's raining on and off, so it's going to be one of those kind of days, I think. Um, so what I'm out here today is to do some basic work. Uh, first goal, first priority is to get a rudimentary lean-to up. This is going to be made from materials that I salvaged from constructing a deck and taking part in an old one. This is not a bushcraft camp, just so if anybody's wondering. This is going to be a camp camp, so I will afford every creature comfort I can get in the meantime. So the goal is to get this up so I have a dry area to hang out, basically. Uh, get a fire pit built, and uh, yeah, so I at least have a place to go on the rainy, rainy days. So shouldn't be too much work. I mean, some of them, I got some lumber here with me, um, but we'll see. Uh, I haven't really decided exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try and figure out something that works for for what I need at this point in time. All right, talk to you in a bit. So the goal is to make a tripod for this side. I have a tree over here that I just filmed. Uh, make a simple, simple tripod. Uh, balance it out here. And then make a ridge pole with a 2x2. Two two. It's about 8 feet wide, which is perfect because the tarp is 7.5 feet by 9.5 or so. So that should be the perfect distance. I think what I'll do actually is I think I'll notch out the bottom so they're more like stakes, so they maybe stick a little better. But outside of that, it's going to be pretty, pretty basic. And also what I'm going to have to do is when I make the tripod with these stakes, Obviously, the force of wind is going to be extremely high, so I'm going to have to restake and then tack that to another stake so it doesn't kind of pull it out of the ground. It's kind of like an easy way to secure it without having to uh, get more weight on it. Yeah, so just a simple little point, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to try and make it as tight as I possibly can, so I'll make it as level as I can. Because the idea being is if I tie it closer to the top, it, the, I'll be able to spread the three posts out further. So that's kind of the goal I have for this one. So we'll do the old classic, the classic, classic jam knot. We'll do it about a foot down. And the reason I'm doing about a foot down is because I want a wide base as possible, as I said. Probably seen Joe Robinette do this a cabillion times. It's a, it's a good knot. I find with uh, paracord, it, it's not a good knot, to be honest with you. Just do a couple hitches. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that, so if I have to take it apart, than I can. And what I could have done is left a little tail there too, but that'll do for now. Okay, so it looks ugly. It's absolutely horribly ugly, uh, but completely functional. Um, I've got the stakes driven in pretty good. Um, this is not going to support a lot of weight, which is fine. It's just a tarp. Um, a cheapo, very cheap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive some stakes into the ground each of the posts and then nail them in so these don't, won't have the tendency to pull up. That's the goal here. So i got some other stakes here. Uh, I'll trim those up and uh, boom, we're going to have a shelter. Like I said, it's going to be ugly, but it's going to be only up for the time that I'm building the cabin. When the cabin's built, it all comes down. So I don't want to build a lot of infrastructure and I don't, didn't feel like cutting down green trees just for this. Like There's just no point. I had the wood at home. It looks like crap, but it's going to be functional. I promise you that. <laughs> That's about it. So. All right, let's get going. The bugs are killing me. Okay, so it's a little homely looking, but still doing the trick. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to put too much weight on this at all. 
so it's just a tarp, so that'll be great. So what I think I might do is uh, I'll pack in the tarp on the grommets on each side so it kind of holds it in place while I do the rest of the structure. So I'm going to leave a foot, maybe two feet out this way. I'm going to go, say, about six feet down this way and then two feet straight down. Like I want to go straight down here. I just want to, you know, I'll make it neat and tidy so at least that I can walk freely back here. Because usually at the bottom end, sorry, I'm probably out of focus. The bottom end, it's just wasted space most of the time. It's hard to get at it. So I might as well make kind of a nice little wall here. I could build up some logs or something later on to kind of shore it up and then use it as like even a, you know what, I could even make a raised bed. Just something in here to sit on while I have a fire and eat and so on and so forth. But for now, it just wants to be functional where I can stand in it and then maybe get a chair and sit here. So again, not a bush, bushcraft camp and uh, not a long-term solution, but I think it's doing okay. Let's make sure this looks level. I'm thinking down on the left. Up on the right, down left, up, right, left, up, right, left, 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 right, 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 you guys want right, left, left, okay, left. Whoa, you've gone too far. I feel like I'm just going to put it to the ground and stake it in. It does look ugly, that's for sure. Like it, it looks fantastic in here, but it's, this bugs me, of course. Which, honestly, I might uproot this and move it. I, I, I debate doing that, but I might. Uh, yeah, and I probably won't because if I do that, then it's going to change the structural supports on it. So it's good. Fire pit's gonna be here ish. Then we can sit down here. Looks good. It's a, it's a little ugly, but it's definitely solid which is important. Um, yeah, there comes the rain now. <laughs> I need to get something to eat and a coffee, so I think I'll have some, maybe I'll make some eggs and bacon or something like that, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty hungry, so, and I need water badly. I haven't really drank too much, so. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, and uh, we'll catch back up with you and have something to report on. Probably didn't hear a single thing, did you? Too far away. It's gonna bite me a mic. Son of a bitch. So, with the structure relatively done, uh, the next goal would be to make a fire pit. And then, maybe not today, but have a fire to get rid of those bugs. But the goal will be to pick up some of those rocks down at the stream there and find some nice flat ones for a grill and uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely going to make a raised bed back here to sit on. I think it would be perfect if I just did it right out to where I am right now. So I got the stakes for it, so I think I'll try and save those. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll 
maybe go buy some two by sixes or something like that. Or oh, actually, you know what? I got a bunch of stuff at the house I could use and just make a rudimentary bench, really. Uh, just have to have a secure base. Other than that, I'm not even going to nail them in. Saw them off and then have a nice little bench. It's definitely going to be functional. Feels like lots of room. As long as the wind's not blowing at me, again, the rain's not going to bother me. So, Anyways, I'm going to turn off the camera and get a coffee going because you guys have seen that a million times. i got to get something to eat. And then uh, we'll we'll queue back in when it uh, comes time to build the uh, fire pit or, or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's all the same. Talk to you in a bit. She's a process, that's for sure. Whew. That's pretty much it, guys. I uh, got the whole path cleared out now, so nice, easy walking. Not that it was hard in the first place. But looks nice, looks great. Got it all cleared out around here, all the wood chips and stuff that I made the other day. I don't think I have the energy to uh, make the fire pit today. Uh, I think I'll just kind of tidy up and get things cleaned up and things packed up. Brought a lot of stuff with me today. Get that in the car and uh, yeah, and we'll do that another day. No big rush, but it's been a good day. A lot good. Lots got done and uh, it's going to be a nice little uh, pseudo camp until I can build a, a bigger, better cabin. So, Well, until next time guys, take care and uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll, I'll see you soon.